Hi, welcome back to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time we're going to talk about upgrading your Ruckus Unleash system. Um, in a previous video, we talked about doing an online upgrade, which is certainly the easy and preferred way. Uh, and this time we're going to talk about the manual method of upgrading. So if you um, want to, if you are not connected to the internet, for example, and you couldn't do an online upgrade, or you wanted to downgrade, then uh, this is the method to do it. So basically, from our uh, Unleashed dashboard, as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, just like we uh, would with an automatic upgrade, we're going to expand out Admin and Services, uh, continue on down here to Administration, and then, uh, uh, again, make sure you do a backup first. You certainly don't have to, but it makes sense. It only takes a second. So there's my backup. It just downloaded that file for me. So that's done. Then we're going to go to upgrade. And um, so by default, the online upgrade is going to be uh, going to be checked here and it's going to tell me what the what the firmware version is. Now, of course, if you're not connected to the Internet, then it's uh, not going to give you a, a uh, an option there. Uh, but what we're going to do for a uh, for a manual is we're going to do a local upgrade. And so Prior to doing this, you're going to have gone to support.ruckuswireless.com and you're going to download the appropriate file, unleashed files for your um, particular uh, AP models, right? And so in my environment here, I'm running three different models, an R710, an R720, and an R510. So you are going to need all three of those Unleash files in order to uh, make this happen. They're not huge files, but you're going to need all of them. And so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go, you know, it's it, under select uh, image files and upgrade. So you're going to upgrade one at a time, right? And don't leave this page once you've started this upgrade process or it's going to, uh, you're going to have to start over again. So the first thing, the R710 is my master. So we're going to start there. So we'll browse. Uh, we are going to grab the R710 uh, and we're going to 200.8 in this case. So we're going to grab the R710 200.8 file. It's going to upload that. It only takes a few seconds here. And then uh, it tells you what the file name is and what version that is. So 200.8.10.3.243. So we'll upgrade that. And so that actually, you know, applies the file on the AP. And uh, so it now says 100% success here. So the next thing, I got to do the 720. So we'll find the R720 200.8 file. So we'll do that one. It'll, again, upload that. And we will do an upgrade. Now, of course, if all of your APs are the same model, if they're all, say, R510s, then you're just going to have to do the first one, apply that one file, and then it will give you the ability to reboot. So you'll see, until I'm done here, the reboot option is grayed out. I, it won't let me reboot until I'm done. So lastly, I'm going to browse to my R510, uh, 200. It'll upload that. And once this is done and been upgraded, uh, then I'll see success 100% on all three of these. And then lastly, now my reboot button is lit, so I can now click on the reboot. So the next thing is I'm going to click on that reboot, and uh, it's you know rebuilding the Unleash network. So basically, it's applying the files and uh, rebooting all three of those. So uh, that takes a few minutes, maybe you know three, four, or five minutes, uh, and you'll come back to the login screen at that point. And once you log in, then you'll be fully upgraded. So, uh, or, or downgraded. Um, the only thing to keep in mind, if you downgrade, so if you load a file um, that is less than your current version, it is gonna blow away your configuration, right? So you are going to need to uh, re-walk through that setup wizard to set up your Unleashed. Um, but if you're upgrading, then it's gonna keep your current configuration. So really, that's what you need to know. Um, a manual, it requires you to download those files from support.ruckus.wireless.com uh, first. 
you're going to need to get the file for each model that you're running. So in my case, a 710, 720, uh, and a 510. Um, and you need to do each one of those separately before you do the reboot. So all of those are important steps. It takes, uh, a, well, a lot more steps than the online, right? So you can go and check the, the, um, the other video for the online upgrade, which is basically just find the version you want online and then tell it to upgrade and it, it does it, right? So it finds the appropriate files for the appropriate APs you have online and does it. But you know, if you're not connected to the internet or you want to manually upgrade for some reason, then this is the way to do it. All right. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Take care.